Hello and welcome back to Alation Data Catalog and Data Governance Tool Review Series Part 6. In the first five videos, we have taken a look at Alation, its overview in general, and how to go about adding data sources such as databases and file systems. Now, in the video series to follow, we'll be taking a deep dive at various Alation features based on the dimensions mentioned here. These dimensions have been carefully chosen based on the attributes that vast variety of data governance and data catalog tools have. The attributes or dimension stretch from metadata repository, data lineage, data tagging, data profiling to data quality and support. We will be taking a look at each of these dimensions and how it applies to Alation or rather how Alation tick marks on these dimensions. Hello and welcome back to Alation Data Catalog and Data Governance Tools Review Series. In this video, we will be looking at the metadata repository dimension and we'll evaluate and look at the auto refresh of metadata in Alation. We'll look at how Alation gives us the popularity and relevance of the data. We'll look at if features such as frequent users, query history, and metadata versioning is provided by Alation or not. Here, I have logged into my online SaaS install version of Alation as entity data Alation catalog.com. From the left hand side menu, I'll pick up the database that I have configured as HashMap. Once you are on the database page, click more and go to the settings tab. On the settings tab, you will see various tabs and you will recollect that some of these tabs were used while setting up this database as a data source. Let's get on to the metadata extraction tab. Alation provides automated extractions for the data sources which have an out of the box connectors or custom DB connectors. Alation's background job periodically fetches database metadata, including schemas, tables, columns, and procedures or functions. We can actually schedule this job for regular intervals. We can say it, it has to run every week on Friday at so and so time, or we can say it can run probably per day. Note that Alation uses the source databases resources to execute these jobs. So we need to be cautious about the credit usage that can cost you if these jobs are run too frequently. I'll disable this automatic extraction for the POC phase and we'll move on to the next feature. Here you can see we can selectively select the schemas that we want to run the metadata extraction against. A empty, which is a default value, means run the metadata extraction for all the schemas and the objects within those schemas for the database that has been selected. If we scroll down, we will see that we have launched this job multiple times in past. Relaunching of job would mean that it would pick up any additional metadata that it has not picked up in previous runs. So you can see the first run took maximum amount of time because it was collecting all the metadata and then frequent runs are 
kind of on an average up to 30 seconds itself. Moving on to another tab, the data sampling tab. Again, here, a background job periodically selects a limited number of rows from each table in database to give users of this database a quick preview of the data and the data content. We can schedule this job like we have seen in the metadata extraction to run weekly or to run every hour or day on the choice that we want, we can make. Again, this job also uses the resources of the source database and hence we should use it cautiously to not overburden the source databases while sampling as well as to limit the credit usage. We can again select sample tables. We can um, say that we want to scan only 10 tables. We can scan 50 tables, 100 or 1000 tables as well. We can relaunch this job and the job will go out and fetch the refresh, look at the refresh data and fetch 1000 rows as sample from that data. Another tab on the metadata or the settings tab of database is per object parameters. Here you can select each and every object, select if it has to, we have to sample it. By default, Alation would sc scan 1000 rows and store 100 rows to viewers. We can actually skip views of on which are on the database and move ahead with it. The next tab is query log ingestion. For all the out of box connectors and custom DB connectors, Alation would know how and from where to extract the query logs and pass them for building the information about the query history, frequent users of the database and other mm -hmm. such things. Again, we can run this query log ingestion at regular intervals. However, for all these additional metadata extraction, the first metadata extraction job, which will collect tables, schemas, columns, needs to run successfully before proceeding with data sampling or query log ingestion. Coming back to the database tab, we can see the metadata extraction has helped us catalog all the schemas that are in this databases, database. As you can see, there are multiple schemas that have been cataloged. As we dig into each schema, we can see that different tables have been cataloged, their popularity, their columns, the number of rows, etc., will be captured here. We can also see the top users that have been captured here as a part of the metadata extraction. We can also tag various domains to this data, which is going to be an external or on top of metadata. And that is what we'll see in some future videos. Every table will also have tab, which is queries, where we can see some historical queries or queries published by stewards. Let's take a look at another database where we can see this feature very well implemented. So if we go on to this tab of queries, we can see there have been certain published queries by different users, which can be useful for new data analysts to quickly extract information that they need from this particular table. Queries such as total discharge by DRG, IPS monthly data integrity check and have been published here. The name of the publisher, when it was last updated, how many times it was executed is all been mentioned here. Note, these are published queries and not per se a query history that has been displayed on this tab. There are several tabs on a particular table. We see this overview tab, which tells you what columns are there in a table. We can look at the columns defined here on that table. Samples, if at all there are any. 
filters that have been applied for this table by, by different queries that were fired on this table, the joins that this table participates in, the overall lineage that as, as to how this table was built, and the queries that have been published. And we'll take a look at these things in detail in further set review videos. Going back to this slide that we initially referred. So yes, Alition supports auto refresh of metadata. It does give you the popularity and relevance. It does highlight frequent users. It does not per se give you query history, but it gives you a facility to publish standard queries. And it does not really show you metadata versioning, but you can have frequent refreshes of metadata at different point in time. Thank you. Hashmap Megabytes.